Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Consciously Create. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music and I also film three videos a week here on YouTube. And this series is all about business and branding and marketing and social media and so, so much more. So for this episode, video, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> my mind went so blank right then. But for this video, we're going to talk about social media ads, Facebook ads in particular, and also Instagram because they're connected. And these are something I've been using for the last two years. Um, since I, basically since I started my whole brand and whole journey of music and um, spiritual topics and stuff on social media. So I figured I would come on here and tell you all about why I use them and how I use them because I've had many people asking me how to grow your Instagram even though mine is not really like that huge right now but I know it will get there, it will get there and it definitely takes time. So this is not a quick fix, this is not a jump to success kind of thing, like it takes gradual building and personally I would rather it be gradual because then you know it's authentic and you know that the people that follow you and support you actually care about what it is that you have to offer what it whatever service or like mine is music and spiritual videos and stuff like I know that they'll actually care about what it is that I'm saying instead of it just being a bunch of numbers on my account you know so we want it to actually have depth and impact and meaning rather than just being numbers for the sake of numbers and image and stuff, you know. So I have been using uh, Facebook ads for the past two years, like I said, but when I first started, I had no, no clue what the fuck I was doing. So I used to just boost the post. I don't know if you, obviously, if you're watching this video, you'll obviously know what, um, what that means and what it looks like on Facebook there's like the little button um below your picture or your video that says boost post and I used to do that on Instagram as well I would just boost them and I never realized how stupid that was you should not boost your goddamn post and I did that for probably like a year or something ridiculous I kept doing it on just specific videos and specific pictures and stuff and it would get some attention but it's only when I started doing them properly that I realized I was literally wasting so much money for hardly any results because that's like the most expensive way to do it so if you want to do it properly you need to go into the ad manager on Facebook, I do it on my computer, I will find Facebook, like search Facebook and then click on the button that says ad manager and go to that and actually set up the ads properly because it will just reach further and cost you much less money and you have way more control over who, who you're sending it to and stuff. When you boost the post, like you can choose an audience but it's not narrowed down at all really, so it's not very effective. So yeah, I now do it properly and actually go into the ad man manager and I um, created like a funnel method of how I do it and this is through literally binge watching so many YouTube videos myself trying to figure out the best way to do it to get the best value for your money because it is very very expensive and obviously like when you're building a business no matter what niche it's in what industry you have to invest in yourself you have to spend money in order to make money so you can't be afraid of spending money i think like if i'm being honest i think in the last year i've spent over 2000 at least i know in in total it's over 3000 but it's only the last year or six months to a year where I've really honed in and figured out what works best for me when it comes to ads. So I know in my ads alone, I've spent at least 3000. And um, obviously that can sound a lot to some people and it can sound like hardly anything to other people because when you think about these big companies, they invest like, some of them probably put in 50 grand a month or something into their advertising. Like they spend a lot of money on advertising because you make that money back through your sales or whatever it is that you're doing. But when you're first starting out, especially when I was first starting out and even now, like I'm not in the, the huge numbers, like it's still a gradual process and it's still, um, you're not necessarily going to see a huge return on your investment straight away. I know for me it will pay off in the long run, but right now I just have to keep investing and keep investing and keep investing. <laughs> so it can sound a little crazy to spend a few grand and stuff in a year, but 
you're trying to build an audience of people that care about what you have to say and so it will pay off in the long run when you then come to offer whatever kind of service it is later on down the road it will pay off but for now we just have to keep investing so how i do it is i Obviously I'm not showing you right now, but maybe in the future I might make a video where I actually pull up the ad screen and fully show you everything. But I feel like that's a little invasive, so we're not gonna do that in this video. <laughs> Cause this is the first time that I'm talking about it and I feel like that can be, um, it's not something that artists and things really talk about to their audience. You know, like I know that everyone that watches this video, not all of you are gonna be creators. Like you could be just people that like music and stuff. So I don't know, it feels kind of vulnerable putting this out there, but like this is the truth of business because at the end of the day it is a business and a lot of money goes into not only the advertising but creating the music and creating YouTube videos and stuff like that. You have to spend a lot of money to be able to do it. So I don't know it's just something that's like a truth it's just the truth it's something that happens so I think it's key to actually talk about it so that everybody knows especially if you want to do this yourself so yes I will choose my videos I tend to do videos and I will choose whichever video I want to promote and for the most part it's just my videos that are clips and snippets from these videos where I chop them up and I post them on my Instagram and on Facebook and then I will create them into ads and I will choose one specific ad and I will create several versions of it going to different locations so I'll have one for the UK one for the US and one for like worldwide just so I can purely keep track on um which locations I'm reaching and how many because adverts to the UK and the US are way way more expensive than to other countries in the world so I like to have them separately just so I can see how many people it's actually reaching because it costs a lot more to go to those countries, <laughs> which is really goddamn annoying, but I guess that's where a lot of people's target audience are. So yeah, I keep them separate just so I know, but it's the same video being sent to these different locations as different ads, just so I can keep track. And then from there, the people that watch that video, this is how you create a funnel method, the people that watch that video and interact with that video and actually like that video, I will then retarget them with another ad, um, with another video, a different video, talking about another thing from these snippets, from these wonderful YouTube videos that I film. So that will then retarget the people that actually interact with the first one, because there's no point retargeting people that don't interact with it, that don't comment, that don't like it, that don't even stop to watch it, you know, because they're clearly not interested. And I'm only trying to reach people that actually care about what it is I have to say, that actually gain value from it. That's the whole point, you know, I only want to gain an audience from people that actually like what I have to say, otherwise there's just no point. So I'm gonna retarget the people that watch over a certain amount of time on the first video, they'll then get a second video. And then I also have a third video after that that will then watch, um, that will then receive the third video if they have watched over a certain amount of time of the second video, if that makes sense. So it's like a funnel that goes down with each one. And this can work with so, so many industries because you can switch up the content. Say you want somebody to buy your course or to buy something, that would be the final video that they see, the last video in the list. The first one might be something that completely just provides value and is not trying to sell anything because you don't want to sell to a cold audience that don't know who the hell you are or anything like that, that's just pointless. They're not gonna wanna buy it if they don't know you. So you need to provide value constantly. So the first two I would say would be value and then on the third one if they've watched both of the first two then by the time you get to the third one they may want to purchase they may not so you might want to actually provide value in the third one and then have a fourth one that sells like it just depends on what you're offering and who your target audience is and stuff like that you have to just trial and error it and keep trying and keep trying and figure it out you know like it took me two years to figure this out and even now I still feel like I can make more changes, you know. Only recently did I switch my ads to be about this spiritual topics that I'm talking about rather than trying to promote my music because not everyone wants to see like um, 
a random song on their screen that they've never heard they don't know who you are so i feel like it's better for me to promote my spiritual videos and stuff because it's an advert as well people know what advertising is and it's not always that great i know sometimes when i'm scrolling through like i don't want to see ads i don't care to see ads and i'll just keep on scrolling so you have to think about like you have to put yourself in their shoes of would you want to see this on your screen if you didn't know who this was you know it's definitely a good idea to put yourself in those shoes because then you can understand their mindset and where they're coming from and whether they'd actually be interested in what you have to offer so ads are really really powerful especially if they're done right and i really feel like now it needs to be more authentic and less selling and more about um giving value because there's just so much content everywhere and ads are popping up constantly on every single platform that you go on and it's annoying to be honest so I do think that it needs to be about providing value and giving to people rather than trying to get because if you give like people are more likely to want to know what it is because they know that they're getting something in return rather than just needing to constantly spend their money and being asked for things all the time because that does get very very irritating and I definitely have found that very irritating as well so I also want to put out this disclaimer for anyone that is not running a business and that feels a type of way about adverts like at the end of the day when you have a product or you have music or you have something to offer you need to get it in front of people because they're not going to know about it so even though the ads can be quite annoying like it's just people trying to reach you because they have something to say or they have something that you might like and they just want you to see it and hear about it and know about it and that's why we kind of have to do ads at the moment because i mean our social media posts do not reach anyone organically like even if you have a um a personal profile that's not a business profile you'll probably even know yourself that it doesn't reach that many people anymore because of the algorithm so advertising is like the key no matter what it is that you're trying to do whether it's a personal brand or a product or whatever it may be like we need to have ads because how else are you going to reach people if you don't put yourself in front of their faces you know that's essentially what we're having to do and we do have to pay for it so like it's not fun for us either it's just something that we have to do <laughs> So I hope this video was helpful and definitely comment below if you want me to show you how I actually create it. I can do that for you but I'll only do it if people actually want it because I do feel a little bit like ah that's a little bit much <laughs> but if you want it then I will definitely do it for you. So comment down below if you want it and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already because I do upload three times a week and all of my links to music and my social media, my phone number because I do send daily inspirational and spiritual thoughts every day via text on whatsapp so my number will be in the description box below as well everything will be there and yeah i will see you in the next video bye oh yeah i think you like me yeah i'm icy cooling in the white tea oh yeah i think you like me yeah i'm icy cooling in the white tea oh yeah i think you might i'm the thing you like in my range all white Think he might, I'm the thing he like, in my range, oh I